Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Ameya and we are discussing about your PDMS cable tray design. In previous videos, we talked about how to we insert a cable tray, how do we define head and tail, those things. So in this video, let us discuss about some specific components and how to uh, change their orientation. So I have here fixed tray, I am just selecting a branch here, I am going to create and components. Okay, auto connect option is on. I am going in forward direction and with this I am going to attach a bend and let's say create. Uh, in bends you will have various options 30 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree bends. So I will go with 90 degree bend. Okay. And that will create a bend on my cable tray. Now here I am not using any specific structure. I am just using this normal cable tray just as a, a branch of your pipe to explain how we can change various things in the component. So by default the branch will come on the clockwise direction. So what if I want to change the direction of this cable tray uh, branch. So for that what you can do is you can just select this bend, go to orient components and you will have change exit. Okay, if you go for change exit, your uh, branch will go on other side. So two types of bends can be there, one on right side, one on left side. By default, it will come on right side most of the time. So if you want to swap on the left side, you have to go to connect component, sorry, orient component and you have to use option change exit. Okay, this option will give you the opposite side of your cable tray. Uh, then let us insert a fixed cable tray, uh, a fixed cable tray, yeah. And then at this point, let's say I want to insert a T, okay. I'm just going to create a T, uh, 300 equal T. And let's see, now this T is coming towards our side, okay. That is uh, this side. So, for T, this is the first location, second location, third location and my branch is at this location. Okay. So what you can do is you can again select a T, go to orient component and you can say change exit. Okay. This change exit, what it will do is it will change exit to the remaining branch. Okay. Right now it is at this point. Let us change it again. I am just selecting this orient component change exit. It is coming to the first branch. Okay, I will again go to orient component change exit. It will come to this branch. Okay, so this is how you can change the exit. And let's try the swipe branch also. If I go to swipe branch, it will go to opposite side. Okay, so these two options are available in cable trays that is swap branch and change exit. Uh, depending upon the component, if you are using bend, you will go for change exit uh, or swap branch. Depending upon T, there are two options of having branches, uh, the next branch where you have to start. Depending upon that, you can use the change exit option. Okay, let's uh, create a fixed tray again. Fixed. Okay. Dismiss. So this is how you can uh, create bends in components of cable tray, change the exits of bends and then you have option of T where you can uh, change uh, exits and swap branch of T also. And uh, now this is my end point. I don't want this end point. I want to connect this to the tail. So uh, what you can do is like any pipe fittings, you can just go to connect just select this branch, connect component or connect branch. You can go to tail and the tail option, you will select the last member and say apply. So my tail will be end at this last member and that will finalize your cable tray. Okay. So this is how you can uh, change the direction of bends and T's in cable trays using orient options, orient components, swap branch and change exit. Okay. 
let us meet in next video for more content on cable tray if you like this content do subscribe my channel follow for latest content on pdms and do share a word about channel with your friends those who are interested in learning pdms on youtube thank you for joining